What's going on? What's going on, folks? I want to show you what you would have to do if you have a Chevy Traverse. It could be the same on the Buick Enclave as well as GMC Acadia. But for some reason, your temperature gauge inside of your vehicle keeps going all the way up, especially like when you first turn your vehicle on. And it shouldn't be that your vehicle is overheating or anything like that. Your problem may be is that your temperature sensor is what this is right here may be going bad, which may need to be replaced. Now, to locate your temperature, your temperature sensor, what you want to do first is take off the top part of your engine, just the plastic covering right there. You want to take out your oil cover as well as take out your dipstick beside it. Right beside where your dipstick goes at, you can see, let me get down there. You can see right here, that's where my dipstick goes. You'll have this silver looking container right here that's going to be down all the way on your engine. This is just basically a heat shield and right up underneath that will be your plug-in for you to disconnect your temperature sensor at which is what this is right here. And what this will be is it'll be turned, I got it already out, it'll be turned upside down like this and all you want to do pretty much is just take, I actually have another one right here I can show you better. This is what your temperature, um, this is what your um, heat shield looks like and then your wire that goes on, that's inside of that is going to look like this. It's going to be stuck in like this up underneath there. And this is going to be pressed all the way up against your, your, your motor pretty much. All you want to do kind of is just wiggle this part up like that. And once you wiggle that up, you'll be able to get access to the power connector that goes to your temperature sensor right here pretty much. And once you do that, you may have to play with a little while to, to figure out how to squeeze it. Some of them are different. This one actually just wasn't even nothing to squeeze. I think it was broke. You could just pop it off. Some of them are going to have like a little squeeze tab on it that you're going to want to squeeze it and pop it off of there. And once again, the location of it, let me see that light shine down there good. It's going to be located right beside there's a hole right there. I already took this one out of. Here's your dipstick. Right beside it, you'll see this right here. Yeah. Right beside this. Let me move this out the way. There's an opening right over here, right beside your dipstick. You'll see this right here. It'll be on there kind of like, like that. You'll see like the, the, the back end of it right here. You just want to kind of wiggle that up. And right up underneath there, you'll see your wire that looks like that pretty much. You just want to unplug it off of your temperature sensor, which is what this is right here. On this vehicle right here, which is a 2000 and I believe it's 11 uh, Chevy Traverse, I wind up using a three-fourths to go on to get this out. You're going to need a deep well socket pretty much because you have to be able to you have to be able to go over you have to be able to um to go all right yeah when you're taking off a temperature sensor you're going to use something with a deep well this is a three-fourths deep well because what you're going to need to do is have the, the deep well be long enough to go over top of the head of the sensor where you plug your plug in that and to get to this little bolt right there just like that you want to be able to get over it like that so you'll be able to take it off and you take it off of your vehicle. So you want to probably want to find you with three-fourths is what this is. This one pretty much fits perfectly over top of the head of my sensor as well as get down here to where the bolt part is at that I can turn in and take it off pretty much. Please check out our other helpful videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.